Hey guys, it's Boomerang again uh, with Why So Golem and uh, this, I don't know how many videos I've made now, this is probably the fifth video. Uh, we are going to be covering um, uh, highlights for um, our fourth war, our fourth clan war, which by the way was a victory and a well-deserved one. And hooray, we're clan level two. So uh, I find it pretty impressive that we made it to clan level two only in a span of four wars. I mean, that's, it's definitely not record timing, but it's really good. The first war um, I wasn't here for, it was a 10 versus 10 war when the clan started, and it was just barely a loss. I mean, I don't know how the war was or anything, but just by one star. I mean, just painful, but you know what? They picked up the first points there. Then the next war I was here for won pretty comfortably 43 to 36. Um, then the next one, uh, 54 to 28. That was the first war I actually participated on. Um, and then the most recent one, which uh, was a narrow margin, but as much as it was 50 to 54, it was, I would say, we dominated the entire war. There was not a single period in which they were ahead of us. The entire time we were ahead. And really, the margin of um, victory of four stars was really the, the most narrow margin uh, the entire war. Uh, I mean, there was a point in the war where we were up by like 20 stars. So it was, uh, it was very comfortable um, overall. So let's dive in into the highlights. We fought against a um, clan level four clan, and it was you know they don't have really much advantage aside from more loot and things like that, or being able to donate six troops. So we were fortunate that it wasn't a level five. If, if we bump into a level five, it's going to be interesting because all the troops get to be upgraded one level. So that would be kind of unfair. But anyway, so we pretty much three start everything from number two all the way through 20. So very, very solid. Um, picking up all those points and a one star on one. And we're going to dive into number one pretty soon. Um, so you guys see who actually one star them. Um, so if we look at the experience points, we picked up 80 points for... Um, uh, starring at least one star every single base so that's perfect mark uh, we scored the minimum of 24 and 36 stars for the extra 10 and 25 respectively and winning the war is huge because that's 50 points had we won the first war we probably would have had a really good chance of going clan level two after our third war but you know what water under the bridge no big deal um so i think four wars to get to clan level two is very solid um now in order to go to clan level three it's going to be a little a much longer road uh 50 yeah 55 points out of 1200 um you know in a in a losing record war picking up an average of 100 points um on a 15 versus 15 or 20 versus 20 war we would probably make it there in 12 wars now that's subpar because that's losing every single war so i suspect we might be able to make it within six to seven wars i would say I would say six will be very solid. So we'll see when we get there. And all right, so now let's go back to the review. So um, we had some pretty, um, overall we had some pretty good um, outcome. We had several people um, have perfect mark wards and that's, you know, uh, three stars on both their attacks so six stars total for the team now it doesn't mean that all stars were completely new stars but still it's worth mentioning that they were able to pull off so many stars uh definitely definitely com uh, commendable so we'll go through the list and just kind of so we got boomerang uh three stars uh on both attacks uh j334 we got desert fox we got uh yavin four we have yorio we have Legendary, we have, honestly, GKB was honorary six star because uh, he had three star on 14 and a one star on one, so he's the one that picked up the one star, so definitely in the honorary column. Um, Death got a six star as well, this game, uh, this one. Phil Gameplay got a three star for both. Uh, unfortunately, him and Ruthless uh, had to leave. The clan um, was a little bit too much war for them and a little bit too, uh, I would say, uh, strict so we we definitely thank them for using their attacks and contributing to the clan as much as they did uh, and we will miss them but we will move on uh, and I think that was it so very good also I have to highlight that overall 
the clan did very well. And while we talk about this, I'm going to put on some of the attacks um, that we did to highlight um, kind of what went on. First, we're going to start with JKB's loot attack. At this point, we had won the war, but he was pretty brave. He was brave enough to go for number one and get us a one star. So as I was saying, we we had the we had a very good war. We three starred everything from two down to twenty, which is very solid. And we implemented a strategy uh, which was um, we we don't like going for equals here. Uh, definitely, I think equals are. Um, that strategy is overrated mostly because so many attacks are wasted that end up being two stars because more often than not your equal ends up being a little too um, close to you and you know for example for a town hall eight an equal may be a, a base that is well defended against uh, hogs and has level six eye defenses so the only alternative you have is a go wipe in that case go wipes is really difficult to three star so you know it's not really convenient and as i said in previous videos it's better just to um have a town hall nine take care of that so what we did was exactly that and also this war we got paired up with a town hall 10 this one with infernos one of them being a level three so i knew even our best town hall nines which is uh, mine and jay's we don't really have the troops to do more than a one star, especially with a town hall right there next to the Infernos. It's just way too strong. So we figure, you know what? Let's leave it as it is. Let's not get any stars on it. Uh, if somebody can do a loot attack and get lucky and get a one star, which honestly, not, not a lot of luck. It's, it's a lot of skill involved. And here, um, GKB really pulling through for us. I mean, just amazing one star. Like I said, honorary three star for him. Being a town hall seven, attacking three slots up. I mean, that's awesome. Great job, uh, GKB. Um, let's put another attack so you guys see it. This is my attack on number two, uh, unconventional drag flood on a town hall nine. So, yeah, as I was saying, we, we attacked down, so we ignored number one, and then we went on to uh, have me and Jay take care of the top um, four after that, so number two, three, four, and five. Uh, number two and three were Town Hall nines. Uh, very weak um, at that. Number two, I mean, just expo, expo set to ground. So that's you know asking for a for air attack and just you know bad air sweepers, um, non upgraded air defenses. Uh, pretty rushed overall, ten hole, um, ten hole nine. Same with number three. So Jay and I took advantage of that, and and we three started them relatively easy. Um, then we took care of also the town hall eights at the highest two that had very difficult layouts. So that those were easy three stars as well. Uh, then after that, all we did is we divided into parcels of groups of three or two to take care of the rest. So everybody was roughly attacking down, I would say, between two to three slots in their from their war mirror, which I think it's it's good. It's not bad. A lot of people would say, well, that's you know, you're what's going to happen to the lower guys? Well. Um, the lower guys get to practice their attacks while everybody gets to pick up three stars on their first attack. So right off the bat, I would say, I think starting the war, we literally had seven straight three star attacks and they weren't on the bottom side. They were actually on the top side of the war. So that's always good for us. Um, definitely i would say that's the strategy that we're going to go with for the foreseeable future just because um we have a lot of uh, inexperienced players at the bottom um and you know we, we want to get them to to really practice before um jumping into a mirror attack so yeah that's the strategy we used i mean we we absolutely dominated the war we crushed them there was no um like i said there was no point in the war in which we in which we lost so let me speed this up attack as a three star almost ran out of time to um, get attack there um, let's cover uh, this one real quick um, so and this one was gonna go white by Jay so yeah overall I'm pretty satisfied uh, I would say things to improve on uh, for everybody is um, obviously use the tax a little more promptly. We we did very well. We had a few people delayed for one reason or another, and that's fine. That's bound to happen every war. But just uh, something that happens to a lot of war clans is over time they kind of deteriorate and they kind of um, 
they just they get lax in war and i hope this clan doesn't get there because getting lax in war just means you're going to rack up more losses and you're going to get sloppy and you're going to get a lot of two-star attacks and you know you get, you're bound to lose a lot of wars because of of silly attacks that could have been three stars but you know just got sloppy i would say also overall people chose the right strategies to attack their um the respective um opponent i don't think there was one that was absolutely completely used the wrong strategy there were a couple that used the right strategy just not the right um, method of applying the strategy so that's that's good that's just i would call it a type 2 error really not a not an overall mistake then um we also on the bottom the town hall sixes did very well um we they had a really tough matchup, so we didn't get a whole lot of three stars there. But most of the people were able to get some really good practice. Everybody was able to lure the clan castle effectively. Now, some of them still had problems killing it, and that's kind of expected when you're fighting against uh, high-level Valkyries or or high-level dragons. It's it's not really it's not really easy to kill it with like level three archers per se. So, I'm not I'm not too upset about that. That's bound to happen again. But overall, everybody understood the concept of luring, so they lured the clan castle, and that that was successful overall. Um, everybody, like I said, contributed well. Everybody was open about talking about the strategies. So I would say it was it, it was uh, kind of like a bittersweet um, great war for us uh, to have. So kind of let's. This was a good three star by Jay. Um, so I had very, very good to take out some of the top town halls here. So that's it for this video. I know that I didn't cover a bunch of them. I only covered the top three, actually. And these, these are not really analyzed in the video. I have a few more to show you guys in another video, actually demonstrating um, the strategy, some really good attacks out there. Um, so yeah, anyway, so we're in our next war, so 15 versus 15 war. It looks pretty evenly matched, but I think we have a really good chance of winning and hopefully we make it to clan level three relatively soon. So thank you guys and we'll see you in the next video.